In class activity two, transfer function pole placement design. Design a PI controller for the following system that has an eight second settling time and a 20% overshoot. The sampling period is T is equal to 0 0.6 seconds. The plant is in continuous time, one over 1000 S plus 100. And the controller is K times Z plus A over Z minus one, which is a PI controller. The first thing we want to do is to convert the plant from continuous time to discrete time. And we're going to do this by using a zero order hold. So what we will have here, similar to the problem we just completed is, GP of S is equal to one minus E to the negative ST times GP of S over S, which equals one minus E to the negative ST times 0 0.01 over S minus 0 0.01 over S plus 0 0.1. So then we take the Z transform and we get that GP of Z is equal to one minus Z inverse times the quantity 0 0.01 Z over Z minus one minus 0 0.01 Z over Z minus E to the negative 0 0.1 T. And all of that simplifies to 0 0.01 minus 0 0.01 e to the negative 0 0.1 t over z minus e to the negative 0 0.1 t. Once we substitute in t equal to 0 0.6 seconds, our discrete time plant is 582 micro over Z minus 0 0.942. Our closed loop transfer function is GC GP over one plus GC GP. Or that can also be written as NC NP over DC DP plus NC NP. So let's talk about what these two graphs are here. What these graphs are is for the compensated step response of our system. And what you should notice here is that they both have a 20% overshoot and they both have a settling time of eight seconds. So what's the difference between the two? Where the one on the left is using our discrete time controller that we're going to design and our discrete time plant we cascade them together in this feedback system, unity feedback system, and here's our plot. Very similarly here, we have the discrete time controller and we have a zero order hold cascaded with our continuous time plant. And it's the exact same response, except now we have a continuous time smoother curve, whereas before we had the discrete steps based upon T equals 0 0.6 seconds. Okay, let's start our design. So first let's take care of the 20% overshoot. So Zeta, must be greater than or equal to 0 0.6 times one minus 20 over 100, just like we had in the prior activity. We know that that's 0 0.48, but this time let's pick a value a little bit higher. So I'm going to let Zeta equal 0 0.7. So this basically means that my percent overshoot should be a little bit less than 20. Then our settling time is 4.6, Four point six over zeta omega n is equal to eight, and from here we get that zeta omega n is zero point five seven five. But if we let omega n equal point seven, then omega n equals zero point five seven five divided by zero point seven, which equals zero point eight two radians per second. 
So now we solve for our integer multiple for our natural frequency n is equal to omega n t over pi, which is 0 0.82 times 0 0.6 over pi. So our integer n is equal to 0 0.15. 0.157. So now we're going to go to the chart and we're going to look for omega n equals 0 0.82, settling time of 8 seconds, and zeta equal to 0 0.7. So here we have our constant zeta, constant omega n design chart, and we're going to find zeta equal to 0 0.7, which is this curve here, and we're going to find 0 0.15 pi over t which is approximately here. So we know that we want our closed loop poles to be around here. So I am going to select 0 0.7 plus or minus j 0 0.2 for our closed loop. So now if I go to my other design chart, I know that we want zeta to equal 0 0.7 and our settling time to equal 8. So TS over T, because remember T is 0 0.6, is approximately 13. So I'm somewhere outside of this curve here. And here is zeta equal to 0 0.7. So if I put my box here, I see that I want my closed loop pole, similar to the other chart, to be 0 0.7 plus or minus J 0 0.2. So delta D of Z our desired characteristic equation is z minus 0 0.7 plus j 0 0.2 times z minus 0 0.7 minus j 0 0.2, which equals z squared minus 1.4z plus 0 0.53. So I'm going to give us another form for our controller to help writing the delta of z for that in terms of kp and ki. So I'm going to have KP plus KI times Z minus KP over Z minus one. So using our general form for our characteristic equation, DCDP plus NCNP, this is the numerator of the controller, the denominator of the controller. This is the numerator of the plant and the denominator of the plant. And what we'll have here is delta of Z is equal to the quantity KP plus KIZ minus KP, that's the numerator of the controller, times the numerator of the plant, 582 micro, plus Z minus one, the denominator of the controller, times the denominator of the plant, z minus 0 0.942. We're going to use algebra to simplify this, and it simplifies to z squared plus 582 micro times kp plus ki minus 1.942, that entire quantity multiplied by Z, minus 582 micro, KP, plus 0 0.942. Okay, so in order to solve, we're going to equate coefficients. So we're going to equate 582 micro times KP plus KI minus 1.942, to negative 1.4, and we're also going to equate 0 0.53 to negative 582 micro KP plus 0 0.942. So 0 0.942 minus 582 micro KP is equal to 0 0.53, which yields KP equal to 710. 582 micro times KP plus KI minus 1.942 equals negative 1.4 yields KI 
equal to 224. So finally, our controller, which is what we have in our step response plots up here as well, is 710 for the proportional plus 224 over z times over z minus 1 for the integral. Or combining the terms and getting a common denominator, this can be written as 934z minus 710 over z minus 1. And this conclu concludes designing a PI controller.